I grew up in New Jersey. And, <laughs> all right, well, like, be aware of what you're proud of. You know what I mean? Like, think about it. Think about what, what you're so proud of. Uh, I grew up in New Jersey, and I, I think the best way to describe my temperament is actually from zero to New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, these people are from New Jersey. You can feel it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty much just like road rage, but anywhere. <laughs> just like anywhere road rage. Like, I'm shopping for glitter in a Michaels, and all of a sudden I'm like, where the fuck is the glitter? And I scare myself. <laughs> I scare myself. It's like, a, it's like a flasher on a nice summer day and you're in the field with your friends, you're enjoying the sunshine and a man shows up in a trench coat and it's like peekaboo, uh-oh, you know. Uh-oh, peekaboo. It's a one-woman show about a flasher in a field. I play the flasher and I play the victim. And sometimes I think it's justified and other times I think no. Uh, like, my cousin Sarah, she asked me to be her maid of honor. I was not honored. I was not honored. All being a maid of honor is is being someone's personal assistant from the time they get engaged to the time they get married. You gotta go places you don't wanna go. You gotta hang out with people you don't even like. You gotta spend money you don't have. But that's, you know, not what you say, right? You say, thank you. And here we go. <laughs> And she wants to have her, her bachelorette party in Las Vegas, so also like, yay! <laughs> and uh, she wants to do the cabaret theme because she doesn't want to do the penis theme, right? She doesn't want the penis cup, she doesn't want the penis straw, she doesn't want the penis necklaces, she doesn't want the penis earrings, she doesn't want the penis antennas, she doesn't want the blow up penises. We make so many things into penises <laughs> that somewhere there is a penis factory. <laughs> If there is a penis factory, then there is a man who works at the penis factory, and he says to himself, I don't know why Denise won't date me. I have a nice house, I drive a nice car, I have a good job at the penis factory. And I think about him. I think about him when I see those dicks. So if you don't know what the cabaret theme is, it's um, pretty much just adult clowns, okay? It's rainbow silky anything, it's feather press on eyelashes, and then it's fascinators. Right, yeah, it, and I don't know why they exist for any other reason than to humiliate the people wearing them, right? They're just, they're tiny hats. They're hats for cats. They're hats for cats. Someone was like, I have an idea for an invention, hats for cats, and then they made too many, and they were like, these hats aren't staying on these cats. I know women will wear them. <laughs> we'll tell them they need it to party. They'll buy anything if they think they need it to party. <laughs> so we're in Las Vegas and we're dressed like this and we're in our early 20s at the time. So uh, there are about 20 people in the wedding party. That's an average. And it's women and it's gay men and we are united by a party bus. And we end the night in a Del Taco, because that's how you party, okay? <laughs> I didn't want to plan it, but I planned the shit out of it. I showed up to that Del Taco with a white envelope full of cash, and I just made it rain tacos on my amigas y amigos. And it was, I felt like God, you know? It was so much fun. We were eating these tacos, we were laughing, and we were having a great time. And then there's like this table of these guys, and you know that Britney Spears song, uh, Not a Girl, Not Yet a Woman? <laughs> That's how old these boys are. <laughs> and they start flirting with us and we start flirting back and we're like, you know, we're really going for it too. We're like batting our feather eyelashes. We're like tipping our fascinators. We're like, oh, you like big girl clowns? You know, like, <laughs> it's sexy. <laughs> And I don't know what happened, but something shifted and they decided that they didn't like the guys that we were with because they're gay. And I just want to back up for a second to when I said from zero to New Jersey. <laughs> because they started calling our friends some real hateful names, and this is also around the time of the New Jersey housewife table flip. <laughs> we all know where we were when it happened. <laughs> we all know what I'm talking about. So my solution to them saying this is immediately to flip their Del Taco trays in their face, right? That's number one. But I was too slow, because by the time I got here, he just 
placed his hands on either side of the tray. A truly impenetrable move. <laughs> truly. And so that's fine, no problem, plan B, right? I start sticking my fingers in his food. <laughs> And I'm like, you don't even know what to do with a vagina. I was like, this is it, boys. Like, I'm losing my mind. I'm going berserk in this Del Taco. And I have this moment where, like, I, I, I left my body. I left my body. And I was floating above myself, and I'm just, I'm watching myself finger these boys' tacos. My cousin Sarah, she's taking their food. She's putting it in her mouth. She's chewing it up. She's spitting it out. You understand? <laughs> like a mother bird feeding its young. And I remember like being like, this is a reverse hate crime. <laughs> right? Like a hundred percent. Could I have handled it better? You know, maybe. Will they do it again? No. <laughs> So I feel good about that one. 